In this video, we're going to fine tune AIA, a multilingual large language models released by Cohere. They released three different models, 8 billion, 32 billion, and AIA 101, which is 13 billion. We're going to be fine tuning 8 billion, and I'm going to show you guys how to fine tune it in a Google Colab instance that is absolutely free. Now, for many people who I take my consultancy calls and some of my clients, I actually work with non English domains. So, models like these are highly applicable in those use cases. And I thought, it would be great if I can show you guys how to fine tune a model like this. Now, why do we typically fine tune smaller large language models? We typically do it because we want to enhance domain specific accuracy and relevance. That means that we want to make the model understand the context, the problem we are working with. If the model is supposed to solve support ticket problems, then do you train with support ticket problems for that specific domain? And only that, you want to have high adaptability to your own unique data, which means you can also have your own specific language. This can be coding language or your own human languages you want to train the model with so that we can get better response. Now, typically, people fine tune with instruction fine tuning. That simply means that you ask a question about how to do something and the model gives you some instructions on how to fulfill that. This can also be very similar to a question answering data set. You ask the model about something, about a fact, and it gives you an answer. Moreover, you can also train it with conversational data, among many, many others. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now this video will broken down into six different sections. We're gonna talk about installing the packages, download the model, prepare the data set, setting up training arguments, training and saving, and also doing inferencing at the end. And this is interesting because we can talk about some flash attention issue and how to resolve that. We can talk about some training arguments and how to set them for your GPU. We will be using a Google Colab over here. So six different steps. Let's talk about the installing packages before we dive inside of the other intricacies. First, you have to uninstall Torch. Now, Torch, when you are using Google Colab, we are using a A100 GPU. This will become pre-installed with Torch 2.5. The thing is, to be able to fine-tune our model, we will be needing to downgrade 2.4, which we do over here. And we have to do this to install the flash attention. Now, I've spent hours kind of struggling with this. And at the end, what I found was when you have a free, free tier of the Google Colab, you will get access to a T4 GPU and you will have like 80 gigabytes of RAM. And to do that, you will have to set max jobs for and to install flash attention. And that is the fastest way you can install this with no issues. So once we have that cleared out, we can install the bits and bytes transformers to accelerate and TRL. So we're gonna install that right now. And please make sure that you have the HF token in your environment over here. I have it over here. So make sure you guys have that enabled. Now, after that, we can finally download our model. So first, we're going to import our packages. So we have auto model from transformer, tokenizer, bits and bytes. We have the LoRa config from PEFT, Torch, load dataset, and supervised fine tuning trainer from TRL. And then we will set the GPU settings over here. And now these are some extra parameters that you can set based upon your GPU. If you are using a free Colab instance, then you can set these different settings over here. But if you are using a pro version, we have access to a in A100 GPU, like I have over here, then you can set the quantize four-way to true, use gradient checkpoints, train batch size to eight. Now, from the different guides that they provided from Cohere, they recommended using 16 batch size, training batch size, but that didn't really work for me. The training actually crashed. So eight tends to work perfectly fine. We have a max sequence length of 512 for our tokens. We're using flash attention and gradient accumulation steps. Now, I want to discuss more about what flash attention is and how it really helps us. So let's run that. After that, we're going to define the model name, which is Cohere AI, expands 8 billion, taken from the Hugging Face Hub. And then we're going to quantize or define the quantization parameters. So over here, we have quantization config none in the beginning. And then we're going to provide the configurations for bits and bytes. We can load it in 4-bit and f 4 true, and then bits and bytes 4-bit compute to torch B416. Now, why do we do this? Why are we quantizing the model? So the main idea behind quantizing the model is essentially reducing the footprint of the model. So let's say you have a model of like one gigabyte, for example, you can reduce it to full bit, which at the end, the model footprint will become 200 megabytes, which not only will increase the inference speed, but also help you increase the training time, actually, sorry, decrease the training time taken to fine tune that model, which is amazing. And moreover, we're going to use something called flash attention. Flash attention essentially means, or some very smart people came up with a smart way to reduce the time for the self-attention computation time. 
which also boosts the performance of the model while we are fine tuning and making inferences on. And now we can use the transform model to embed these different configurations to load our final model over here. And after that, we're going to load the model in our GPU and then we can load the tokenizer. And now we can run it. This is going to take some time, so please be patient. So the model is finally loaded. Now we get to prepare our data set. And to do that, we're going to be loading a data set called AI Collection from Cohere. And we're going to get the training data set. And from that, we will get the Bengali data. And just to kind of quickly go through what this data set is about, it's essentially an instruction. From what I understand, an instru instruction data set, well, actually, sorry, is a translation data set. You have the input and then you have the target. So you have one language over here and you get another language. So from here, we will be taking the Bengali version of the training data set. And from there, we are going to take 100 samples from the data set. Now, why are we taking 100 samples? Although this is not enough for really fine tuning the model, but I want to quickly show you guys how to actually fine tune it and not worry about the details of how the data set looks, look, looks like. But essentially, you have input and targets. These are the main things we will look at when we are training our model. Now, alongside that, we are going to be defining a formatting function. This will be used during training to format our input. This is done to have various tokens to be defined before our inputs and also mark the end of the input tokens. This is used for the model to understand when an input token starts and when the input token ends, but also when the input token starts for the different targets that we want to achieve after our fine tuning. So when you are using your data, make sure to adjust this based upon your data set. Now we'll get to set up our training arguments. To do that, we will simply define a variable called training arguments that is going to include all different training arguments we have over here. We have the output directory, the number of epochs. I want to change this to five epochs to make our tutorial much, much faster. We can set the training path size, gradient accumulation steps, gradient checkpointing. We're going to set the atom optimizer for 32 bit, save steps. So on each step, it's going to save login steps and many other informations. And after that, we're also going to define the PEFT LoRa config to define which specific modules we want to fine tune. And then we're going to pass it to the supervised fine tuning trainer from TRL. We're going to pass in the model, the data set, the PEFT config, training max sequence length, which we changed earlier in this video, the tokenizer, training arguments, and of course the formatting function that we just defined. So we're going to compile this and now we finally get to train it. So all we have to do is sit down, relax until this trains. Now the model has been fine tuned. Now we get to make some inference on it. So the first thing that we will do is we're going to load our quantization settings that we did previously as well. And then we're going to load flash attention configurations. And now we're going to load the model as we did previously using auto model for causal LM. We can load the tokenizer. And now to use our fine tuned layers, we're going to load the adapters or I should say the layers that we actually fine tuned. And now we're going to define a prompt to translate from English to Bengali. This is the prompt to be using to translate. And now we simply write generation equals to generate AI, passing the loaded SFT model and the prompt, and this should help us generate a response. Now, I forgot to mention, or actually I forgot to implement the generate AI function. And this is essentially a wrapper function that takes in the prompt that we pass in. We take some other parameters if you guys want to, and we format it and pass it to the tokenizer to start generating and decoding our responses. So we can execute this first, and then now this should work. All right, there we go. Now we can translate from English to Bengali. All right, guys, so that's a quick video on how to fine tune AI expands 8 billion. I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.